All right, guys, nothing too exciting today. It is still raining. It's unheard of. It never rains for this long. It's totally dumb. So we're going to make a trash run because we need to take trash to the dumpster. And then maybe drown a worm, try and catch a fish. Maybe I can find a place where I can like park really close to the water's edge and just sit in the Jeep and throw a rod out in the water, see what happens. I can't find my ninja star. Your ninja star? Yeah. Oh no! Where's your ninja star? Oh no. We'll find it later, okay? No, I need it on me because you never know when someone could sneak up behind me and throw me in a truck. Okay, I'm gonna brave it. I'm gonna go out in the rain again. Try and catch a fish. And after that, we're gonna go over there and see if we can find some old cool stuff. It's actually not too bad right now. Now, let's try not to cast over that. This little buzz bomb that I've got does kind of like a, a crippled herring jig. Sometimes the bigger Chinook like it. Sometimes even the kokanee like it. One time, one time last year I was fishing in this exact spot and out of the corner of my eye I saw something surface just like feet away from me and it was an otter and he made eye contact with me and we had a moment and then he disappeared and I never saw him again. Good story. I was just about to say how thankful I was that it stopped raining and then it started raining again. <laughs> This fishing rod, by the way, that's my old uh, grandpa's. He gave me that. Him Where's your rock stack? I thought you were gonna build a big rock stack. It fell. <laughs> yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy. Yeah, fishy, fishy. Oh, dude, nice. Oh, that's all I had to do was break the camera out. Abel, I got one. That's all I had to do. Oh man, it's probably a bass. Caught you a delicious bass. Oh no, it's a Coke. Dude, nice. Okay, you got really soft mouths. Gotta be careful. Nice! Oh, wait, no, that's a bow. No, Chinook? Oh, what are you? You're beautiful, whatever you are. You are a little Chinook, look at you. Salmon for dinner. Oh, yeah, I am so pumped about that. Usually the bite is off, like when this low pressure system stuff moves in, the fish go down and they don't want anything to do with anything. <sighs> Salmon for dinner. Yeah, so pumped. I can't believe it too. I was like, ah, oh, you know what? I should just like try and hold my camera on the rod and get kind of a cool shot. And then bam, you guys were right there with me. First fish of the day. Now, maybe it's got friends. Check him out though. He's, see how black his, his mouth is? He's a, a little Chinook salmon. They put these in here. Yep, and his scales are coming off too. They put these in here to try and mitigate some of the uh, kokanee because the kokanee were just so thick in here. Nice. Super pumped. Thank you, Fishy, for your life. You can always tell the Chinook by their black mouths and they've got some pretty gnarly teeth. <sighs> Eating good tonight. No more hot dogs. We got salmon. These Chinook are actually even more delicious in my opinion than the ocean going Chinook because these guys are eating other salmon and their meat is like super red and super pink. Awesome. Good thing you found that fish keeper yesterday, huh? Yeah. <laughs> now we gotta use it. <laughs> Almost. Almost. Did you forget to open the bale? I forgot to flip the bale, I think. Yeah. Nice. All right, reel her in. Catch me a fish, boy. I already got dinner. What are you going to eat? <laughs> hey, stop. No.
Oh, oh snag. Okay, well, jiggle it. Wiggle it. Just a little bit. Wiggle it. Try and reel up. Oh, you better let Dad handle this one. <laughs> Check out what Abel just found. A wild power bait. Yeah, nice. It's even the right color. I'm really glad that you found that because the, the can that I have is really old and that's probably why it's not working. So <laughs> I was gonna be forced to buy a $12 jar of it at the local stop and rob. <sighs> I just had another one on. I was trying to hog him in and he got off. Might have been a kokanee. They have really soft lips and sometimes the way that they escape is because their mouth kind of comes apart. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. It sucks to be that fish, and I'm sorry, fish. Ah, oh, dang. It, it was a good hit too. It might have just been a bigger Chinook. It was a good, good hit. It was a big fish. I uh, didn't set my drag before I started. Dang it. Ah. Rookie move, niece. Rookie move. It's just so beautiful here, you know? Like, I catch myself just reeling in and not even looking at the water or paying attention to my rod. I just looking at the atmosphere and even though it's kind of a crummy day weather-wise, it's just so beautiful. Just so blessed and so happy to have this experience and to be able to share it with you guys. Man, so awesome. Whoa. That was way closer to my face than anyone should ever see. Look at this guy. This guy just came back. He was out exploring while I was fishing. And uh, what do you got, dude? A bottle. What? No way. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh-uh. Dude. I don't know how you do it. You are a bottle maniac. You're a bottle magnet. You might be your own medicine. Medicine? Cologne, maybe? Wow. Shampoo? Let me see. Let me see that thing. What the heck? Huh. Dude, nice find. If you guys know what type of bottle this is, comment down below. I'm trying to clean it out. Trying to clean it? Get a little more air in there. Like, fill it up about halfway and then swish it around. You really want to clean it up. Put some of that gravel in the bottle and shake it up with that gravel in there. If you are wondering, copper BBs in a bottle, shaking it up with some hot water and some soap in there, that does wonders. <sighs> I just lost another fish. Luckily, it didn't feel as big, but equally as disappointing. Chances are, if you're an avid treasure hunter like I am, you're probably also a really good fisherman. It all comes down to how hard you try and for how long. All right, got another one, guys. Woo! It's another it's Chinook. Than that one. Yeah, he was a fighter. Let's right. pop him on the head. Hang on, hang on. We were just talking about going home. Abel said I had five more casts, and uh, this was number five. <laughs> Maybe we should stay longer. Mama bear should be up pretty soon, huh? Yep. Nice. Ooh. Man, not a moment too soon, huh? Ha. <sighs> Man, my hands are cold. Me too. Just started Look raining how really good too. Thick that bottom this is, a, is. This is a great time to get the heck out of here, huh? All right, let's get home. Cook these fish. Mom should be here pretty soon, I think, right? Some rice going. Hey. A little seasoning on there. Thank you, fish. Tell you what, I'd do dishes all day long if I had a view like this. It's funny to think a hundred years ago that people up here were wanting to be down in the city where they didn't have to hunt and fish and they had amenities, but now it's kind of flipped, isn't it? 
<laughs> Man. This time yesterday, we were thinking we were going to be staying the night on a snowy mountain and hoping that we could get home, huh? Funny how things change. I love you. Mm. How'd you get so big so quick? How, how did that happen? Why are you so big? Huh? <sighs> yes. Block my face! It looks much better. <laughs> I, look, <laughs> I look much better with my face covered up. I know that for sure. Mommy should be here. Any sign? Doom! Doom? <laughs> <laughs> Look who just arrived, Mama Bear. Oh man, what do you got in here? A whole mess of food. <laughs> Check this out, we were actually just talking about how we would die for a lime or a lemon to put on this fish. And Mama Bear came through. Yeah buddy, gotta have limes and lemons. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what that means. Okay, what were you saying, Bubba? <sighs> I'm so full. So, the... It's good fish. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. See, See you on the next trail, adventurers! adventurers.